Pool, the globe's largest co-mingle horse racing pools created and powered by the Hong Kong Jockey Club, recently sponsored the World Pool Gold Cup race day at Hollywood Bets Gravel. This race meeting took place on the 30th of July. The World Pool Moment of the Day is an initiative introduced to all 25 World Pool events in 2023, which land the selected winning groom on the day a massive 100,000 Rand in prize money. All 25 winners are eligible to win the World Pool Moment of the Year award, which includes a VIP trip for four to Hong Kong, either the Hong Kong Derby or the 2024 FWD Champions Day. The panel was challenged with selecting one moment from several memorable highlights throughout the day, but it was the eye-catching performance of Sandringham Summit from the widest of draws in the Grade 1 World Pool Moment of the Day Champion Stakes that landed the 100,000 prize for his groom, Daniel Kuani, an entry into the World Pool Moment of the Year. When interviewed on his return to Johannesburg, Daniel said, This is a life-changing experience for me because I've worked with these horses for a long time. But this is the first time I've won this amount of money. I will use half the money to finish building my house and the other half I will share with my mother and father because my father is out of work. In the past, Daniel has looked after Mill Queen who ran second in a grade one, Flying First Class who is a nine-time winner and Factor 50 who won six races but rates Sandringham Summit as the best of them all. 1,200 metres, there's the all clear. Starting off the day was the Tab Gold Umkamazi Stakes, a grade two event over 1,200 metres, and the short price favourite was Tail of the Comet from the Sean Terry stable, having just his second start. It was, however, Outlaw King under Keegan DeMello, champion-elect destined for Hong Kong for the Dean Kaname stable, who managed to scoop the victory laurels at a starting price of 9-4. to four. Too good for ready to charge and the favourite Tail of the Comet. Outlaw King though is the leader over the last 50 from ready to charge and it's Outlaw King, Outlaw King held on. Second ready to charge, third tail of the Comet and Icy Blast. The second race on the card was the World Pool with Gold Circle Debutant Stakes over 1200 metres, a grade 2 event where the warm favourite was the 9-2 chance Oriental Bouquet from the Duncan Hull Stable. However, it was Calamaretta in the shadow of the post who managed to get the better of Captains Christie and leaving Las Vegas. This was a short head victory for the Harold Crawford and Ricks combination under Muzi Yeni. Since Christie, a strong runner, the Charleston and Carla Moretta behind that one, leaving Las Vegas. Down the inside, though, Captain's Christie, just the leader. Captain's Christie, Carla Moretta, arch too close. Carla Moretta and Captain's Christie over the line as one, but it's very close. Leaving Las Vegas was towards the outside. The first leg of the place accumulator was at World Pool Twitter Handicap, a listed event over 1,600 metres, and the hot pot favourite was Cosmic Highway from the Dean Kaname stable, backed in from 7-1 to one to 4-1. to one. It was, however, Gauteng Raider, trained by Tony Peter, Meridius under Craig Zaki, who was just too good for Battle Force and Captain Fontaine in the closing stages. A meritorious performance by Meridus. It's still Battle Force, the leader. Down on the inside, Cosmic Highway is a big runner, Captain Fontaine. On the outside, Royal Victory, Meridius is getting into the race late. Battle Force, Captain Fontaine, Meridius on the outside. They're coming from everywhere. Battle Force on the inside and Meridius. Oh, it's close again. Maybe Meridius from Battle Force and Captain Fontaine, but it's mighty close. The fourth race on the card was the Riding High Together Gold Bracelet, a grade two event over 2,000 meters. And after her superb third in the Hollywood Bets July, Bless My Stars went to the post as 15 to 10 favorite. Once again, trained by Sean Terry and superbly ridden by Richard Free, Bless My Stars was completely dominant, winning it over horse number one, Sarki and Gilded Butterfly. But here's where Bless My Stars and Saki get into a scrap, but Bless My Stars, she'll stop the clock. Bless My Stars from Saki, Gilded Butterfly, maybe Dornham a New Day in a photo.
The World Pool Moment of the Day Champion Stakes, a Grade 1 event over 1,600 metres, saw Lucky Lad go to the post as the 11-10 to 10 favourite. It was, however, Sandringham Summit, who was drawn outside of him, who went from 7-2 to 7-1 to, to one in the betting, trained by David Nuvenhazen and superbly ridden by Calvin Abib, who showed himself to be one of the best two-year-olds we've seen for quite some time. Look right, Sandringham Summit is starting to fly, sprouting wings now. Sandringham Summit got the wow factor. He has them weighed and measured and they're all found wanting. Main defender, we are the Logans. Photos Kaya Mayan behind these and Francine. For those who have a need for speed, it was the Mercury Grade 1 sprint over 1,200 metres that saw Gimme a Prince go to the post as the 7-10 to favourite. He was slightly slow away and never seemed to recover, and it was the Hollywood Bets owned Isi Vungu Vungu, trained by Peter Musket and superbly ridden by Richard Ferry, who showed just too much guts and courage to deny Serge and Gimme a Prince of victory laurels. Give me a Prince is going to have to put it together. He's still six lengths off. He has Thunderstruck coming to Issy Vungu Vungu. Thunderstruck puts the head in front. Issy Vungu Vungu. Sergey is on the inside. Give me a Prince is running late on. It's a tight affair. Issy Vungu Vungu fights back courageously. Issy Vungu Vungu. Secret weapon was coming out the gate. And he's a true sprinter of note. For the fans of stamina, it was the World Pool Gold Cup, a Grade 3 event over 3,200 metres or 2 miles, that saw the hot pot favourite from the Sean Terry stable, Future Pearl, come home with considerable ease. Beautifully piloted home by Richard Faree, he came home ahead of Aram Gum, Nebras, the previous year's winner, and raise a hallelujah. Homeward bound, Seamaster, Aragosta, Nebras, and Future Pearl starting to put it together. Here comes Future Pearl, raise a hallelujah on the inside. And Future Pearl hit the front at the 200 from Nebras. Behind that fight song, Adam Agam's running on. It's Future Pearl, a length and a quarter. And they're not going to get to Future Pearl. Future Pearl won it by two lengths. Second, Adam Agam, then Nebras, and raise a hallelujah. For many of the purists, the eighth race of the afternoon, the Hong Kong Jockey Club Champions Cup, a grade one event over 1,800 metres or nine furlongs if you prefer, saw see it again, the Hollywood Bets July favourite at the top of the bookmakers' betting boards. He went off at 17 to 10 for Pierre Stratham and Michael Roberts, but had to play second fiddle to the very talented daughter of Flower Alley, Princess Kalla, from the Sean Terry stable, Ridden to perfection by Richard Faree. See it again, it's going to go through down the inside. Still got five or six lengths to make up. Coming to the 300 and Dave the King with the lead. And Princess Kala Zapatiers. Between the two of them, see it again, MK Spride. Dave the King, but Princess Kala's a big runner. Princess Kala and Dave the King over the last hundred. But Princess Kala coming home strongly now. See it again, staking off late to get second. Third will go to Dave the King and then Rascalia. For many who had been waiting patiently, the highlight of the day was the Douglas White Stakes, a grade one event for two-year-old fillies. The favourite for the race was Roscova from the Glen Cotson stable ridden by Lyle Hewitson. But it turned out that Craig Zaki for the Tony Peter Yard on Bavarian Beauty had too much fire, winning by an ever-increasing one and a half lengths. A top-class performance with Douglas White on hand to make the final presentation. Homeward bound, Dolcesa leads it. Bavarian Beauty moves in. Bosne down the inside. Soldiers eye. Distant winter between runners. On the outside of that, that's my baby. And Raskova's also running on. And towards the outside, Egyptian Mouse trying to get into the race. Bavarian Beauty, distant winter over the last hundred. Egyptian Mouse on the outside. Bavarian Beauty, Egyptian Mouse trying to close it down. Bavarian Beauty's holding on though. And Bavarian Beauty has won it. Second, Egyptian Mouse. Third to distant and went and maybe Raskova and forth. The tenth and final race on the card was the LKHIR in December Amgani Handicap, 
a listed event over a thousand meters, and the favorite was the Carl Hewitson trained Pray for Rain, ridden by his beloved son Lyle Hewitson, making such a significant mark in Hong Kong. It was well worth the wait. Pray for Rain still those there, is looking for the line. African Skyline coming strongly. Pray for Rain just made it. Pray for Rain from African Skyline, Smith and Wesson, and Mr. Master Starter. It's an honour and a privilege to have a race named after me. For the record, for the uninitiated, 13 times consecutive Hong Kong jockey champion, something that I'm sure as a young man you couldn't possibly imagine. So I went to Hong Kong for three months and I ended up there for 20-odd for years, um, winning 13 premierships back-to-back. -back. Still fit, I still ride my own work and look, I love it. And uh, I would, I'd love to get out there if I could and, and ride around. To get your name indelibly imprinted like one of your favourite human beings of all time, Mr. Benji Johnson, he absolutely loved you. I loved him like a, like a second father and uh, he, he was a thorough gentleman of, of the whole industry. I think he, he put racing on the right map in South Africa. Uh, he's been a gentleman, I think, what he did for the, the Jockeys Academy and just the racing industry on its own was phenomenal. How do you feel standing in this parade ring with all those gorgeous memories flooding back? Oh, it's, it's, it's special. It makes me go back 25, 30 years and it, it, it really gives me a good feeling.